Right, this time we, going to, we are going to learn about how we can get a specific number of uh, results or records. Uh, when we explained uh, in the beginning about you know Sparkle and about um, uh, connecting to publicly available uh, triple stores like DBpedia and stuff like that, we mentioned uh, or we showed you how we c you can actually run a simple query against that. But to query, and we said that for example that if you want to select everything, just have a look at everything, all the triples in your data set, in the data set, you just say, you know, select star from, or you don't need to use from actually, select star where, and then you curly brackets opening and closing, and inside them you just do, do for example, question mark, S for subject, space, question mark, P for predicate, space, question mark, O for object, and you will get all a list of all the triples. If you try that against something like DBpedia's triple store, then you might be asking too much because that that data set is huge, is too large, and the number of results may be may be uh, too much for your computer to deal with, or for your web browser, or for your memory even to for, uh, to deal with. So you can actually we can actually limit the number of results using the limit keyword as we are going to see. But firstly, let's have a look at this nice data set from the book. Uh, one thing I wanted to notice here that I'm not actually strictly following the order of the book. I'm just jumping from things here and there. Uh, you know, whatever I think is appropriate to present now, I'm, I'm choosing it. And remember, I'm not trying to replace the book. The book is there for you to learn from. It's a nice book again. I really recommend it. But I'm just trying to make things make things easier maybe for you and give you a sort of a flavor or introduction, and then you can do more reading on your own. Now. This data set, it looks like it's a data set for, for example, a restaurant or, uh, you know, a place where meals are sold. And we have here uh, two nice prefixes and we have here uh, what looks like a meal ID, its description, and then the date, maybe the sale date uh, in string format, and then the amount, maybe how much it costs or how much, how much was sold or how much it sells for. Yeah. So, again, meal description date I don't know what 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 exactly the dates for maybe as, as I said when it was sold and apparently I think when it was sold because we have some repetitions here breakfast lunch dinner with the same date breakfast lunch dinner with the same date and then breakfast lunch dinner with the same date. so maybe anyway you get the idea that we have a list of of meals dates and the amounts you know how much they cost how much they cost all of those meals and every meal has its own unique ID as you can see and the shortcut format is used here without having to repeat that uh, we have without having to repeat the subject you know using the semi semicolon and what we explained before now we are going to have a nice query where we can you know get a list of all the triples and we'll take it from there and learn how we can use limit I have this example here close your eyes now I don't want you to see this what I'm going to do here I'm going to say select star where as we said subject predicate and object. Let me save this. It's query number 116 and run it against our data set. So the data set is uh, M is 145 and remember that you can do this using your uh, Jena Fonseca server. The query is 116. If we run it, we get a list of all the triples as you can see. For something simple like this, it does look actually slightly big and if you want to have a certain number of 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 results you just use the word the keyword limit limit in capital form because it's a keyword and say for example five and what that'll do is it give us only five rows back only five results back again run it save and run it again and we have one two three four five i hope that makes sense i mean i've just i changed i changed the original query but i hope you get the idea of the word limit the, the word actually says it all limit so we limit the number of results that we get. Let me just undo the change that I did and go back to the same query, the original one. And then what it says here is select label where uh, um, you know a temporary variable s rd first label. It has a label. And by the way, uh, the author here is using the property label from this rdfs from the uh, this rdf rdf schema. We didn't actually speak about using it before, and this is a good time to mention that we can actually reuse what is already existing there, 
and here we're using the property label from that RDF schema yeah so this RDF schema exists somewhere here at this address um, and we're using again the uh, uh, the property label again we're limiting number of results to two so we'll just save it and then run it it doesn't like it for some reason let's have another look um, Yes, because the original dataset doesn't actually have um, it doesn't have um, uh, a label, and you know this query when I copied it, when I when I used it, it's not meant to be run against this dataset. You see, this is what I told you. I'm jumping here and there. This query is not meant to be run against this dataset. But let's let's actually let's actually modify it. Yeah, let's modify. Let's just copy this. You know, e here for expenses quickly. We'll replace that and we'll say select uh, meal name for example where S has a property description and we'll, we'll say give me back the meal name let me just give it a capital N so we can make sense of our results it doesn't like for some reason select meal name s has a description and meal name why doesn't like my it doesn't like my query prefix e select meal name where <coughs> let's have another look why it doesn't like my query I have absolutely no idea select meal name it makes a lot of sense and that is my prefix there's absolutely nothing wrong with this Right, uh, I think I've worked out why it was complaining. If we run it again now, you notice it's still, compla still complaining, and it's telling me actually encountered dot at line three. So basically, in our uh, you know the query file, the Sparkle query files, you know the ending with dot rq extension, we don't need to have the at sign in front of the prefix as we have in our uh, triple data sets and we don't have to have the period at the end of the prefix this is why it was complaining you know we can have the period here inside uh, in, in our query itself but not at the prefix so we get, 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 get the period and what we expect to have now we expect, expect, expect to have a list of uh, meal names if we run it again then it working we get l dinner and lunch uh, I'm going to increase that to maybe five. I will get dinner, lunch, breakfast, dinner, lunch. No, if you go back to if we go back to the um, to the original uh, data set here, we have breakfast as first, and then lunch, and then dinner. Whereas in the results, we have dinner first, lunch, and then breakfast. Notice that it's actually not in order. So order here is not very important. I, I, the, you know the results can be pretty much random in terms of order. We will learn how to order results in the coming videos. But I just wanted you to, to notice that it doesn't actually have to have the right order, you know, from top to bottom, like top-down order, s similar to the, uh, uh, or the the original data set. Another nice feature of uh, of limit is is that we can use another keyword, which is offset. And offset, what it does is it allows us to skip a certain number of results and then start after that so if I sk say skip three and then limit to what it'll do is it'll skip three uh, sort of result sets or I'm uh, sorry three rows in the result set three records in the result set or three triples in the result set rather and then start at the fourth one and then it'll give me two if you run that you can see I mean, if you can compare this with this, you can say dinner, lunch, breakfast. So we'll keep, skip the first three and then start there at dinner, lunch. I hope this makes sense. Nice and easy how to use 
the limit keyword to limit the number of results that we have and the number of triples that we have in our result set and how to use the offset to do that remember practice makes perfect as you have seen we had that little error with the dot at the pref uh, at the end of the prefix which caused us some problems as you can see here these simple little mistakes actually help you learn uh, the syntax of everything that you're using a lot thanks for watching and i'll see you next time